Good evening from a chilly Tashkent, actually. <laughs> We're just about to order a taxi to get to the train station. After spending a couple of days in Tashkent, we are off to Hiva and we are getting a night train. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Отлично. Рахмат. У тебя деньги дают? Лео, что это здесь? Все, дайте. Пожалуйста, будьте здоровы. Что это? Сколько это было? Девять. Да там 17. Нет, yeah, нет, 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 yeah. перестаньте. Брат, эй, все, окей. Нет, так нечестно. Вот 10. Я yeah, был так, и все. 10. Спасибо. Все, сестры. Возьмите, возьмите. Все, хорошо. Не, все. Спасибо, спасибо большое. Будьте здоровы. Вам тоже, спасибо. So, okay, that was the nicest taxi driver in the world. He chatting to us the whole way. Was so nice. And then he was like refusing to take the money and we were like throwing it at him. And he was trying to give it back to us. God. People are just, honestly. <laughs> also, yeah. If we had... <laughs> Apart from having an old man screaming at the other man for wearing shorts, like, we didn't have any. We went there. <laughs> we went there. Yeah. So it could have been a lie. Um, he was, I don't know. Everyone here is just been meet. so friendly. Very chatty and like. Really genuinely interested. Yeah. They ask you so many questions. Oh, well, honestly. We were, went for a walk earlier and we walked quite a lot, so we sat down on the bench. And two men were walking past and like we said hello, they started chatting to us and he was like I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit and then we can go and have some food at my house. <laughs> <laughs> just out of the blue. We've been talking to him for about two minutes. And he was like, Yeah, you're coming obviously you're coming to our house for dinner. <laughs> we're like, we're we're actually getting on the train tonight, but <laughs> we might come back here when we're back in Tashkent <laughs> and wait wait for you just here <laughs> see if you come back. <laughs> I just, people are just too nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, why would you be re refusing to take the fee, like the fee That's for the taxes? Not, I, um, it makes me feel so rotten. Yeah, yeah, because we're paying for a service. So. Yes. Anyway, yeah. we are at the station, and we need to go through. There's a massive queue up ahead to get oh. in, and then the train is ten past eight, so the train's in fifty minutes. Yeah. Right, so we just pulled off. We've got 14 hours ahead of us. This place is a lot less than we thought. <laughs> so it could be a cramped night. But thankfully, we walk quite a lot today. So both of us are pretty knackered. So fingers crossed we nod off quite early, eh? <laughs>
So we're not far out of Hever, and we just wanted to show you this out the window. We're in the very south at the moment, and there's an area around Hever which is full of Uzbekistan's biggest export, which is cotton. Literally everywhere, yeah, growing on every single side. And no way now when you went to sell. I know, now there's a load of houses. Here comes the cotton again. Survived. Welcome to Hiva. So this part of town we're in is obviously not the very old part um, from the times of the Silk Road, but. It's been really like it's been built to look the same, hasn't it? It looks really, really beautiful. It's not like we're walking out into a modern city and then the old city's next to it. It seems like the whole, or well, certainly this part of the city, it has, the yeah, the theme's been continued, which is really, really nice. We just checked in into a guest house, dropped all our bags off got changed and now let's go and find some food. Salam alaikum. We're in the middle of the day and it's not hot today. It's quite hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 25. It's not 40. And there's no one out. Apart from some of the locals walking around. Hiva so far is really like atmospheric, isn't it? So another thing is, here in Uzbekistan, guests are sacred. So when the person, usually the head of the table, is pouring the tea, they'll only pour you a little bit in your cup, so that you can drink that, and then they'll pour you a bit more, you can drink that. So that basically, the tea doesn't get cold. You're always having hot tea. It's just a sign of respect. So if you see someone pour you a little bit of tea... No, no, no. If you see someone pouring you a full cup, <laughs> they don't like away. it. Yeah, get out. <laughs> So this is called shivit Hiboshi and this dish is called Tuhum Barak and this is Urma think, or Chiburek which is basically a dough, deep fried dough with some meat, possibly onion and spices inside. So these are noodles made out of dill, hence why they're green and there we've got potatoes, meat, onion and it's like a really nice sauce, almost like a gravy and there is could be sour cream oh, and the sour cream, oh my god and the sour cream on the side, it's really good let's try dill is one of Matt's favourite things in the world I, I, I can't wait to dig in already <laughs> I actually read that this dish is called like summer plov, it's a lot lighter and it is very delicious, it does feel very light and refreshing to eat it even though there's like potatoes and meat in there, it doesn't feel heavy as such at all, 
and the notes are, they do actually feel very refreshing. Although it is light, but at the same time it's really comforting. My flavors are very simple, and it's just simply delicious. And we wanted to say that in Uzbekistan, we've seen it in many places, like cafes and restaurants, where I've seen stores your hands. Like even right in the restaurant? Yeah, right in the restaurant, not, not in the toilet. <laughs> They're so advanced in the restaurant. Okay, and these are obviously dumplings, but they're dumplings that are only found here in Hiva. They're called Tukhum Barak, and we aren't 100% sure what's inside, so <laughs> let's try it. It's going to be a surprise. And of course. Awesome. What's mm. inside? I have no idea. No? Look, that's awesome. What is it? Egg. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So dumplings are obviously found all the way along the Old Silk Road from Hinkali in Georgia or Chinese dumplings to Manti here in Central Asia. And these are just another really local variation of, of different type of dumplings. And these have egg inside. They are really nice, really different. It's incredibly unusual, but it's so delicious. Again, like you were saying about the shivit oshi, like it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels really like like a perfect snack almost, light and refreshing. I like you, your way of thinking. <laughs> perfect snack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now let's try I think, what's called here guma or also known as chibaryak. We've had these quite a few times when we've been in Russia, and they are, like Julia said, like meat-filled fried pastries. Let's rip one in half and see if we can seal the innards. Perfect. There's meat, spices, onions, crispy pastry, loads of oil, that's just the, the most awesome, almost street food, yeah? Just grab a chibarek or a guma, walking through the streets of Hiva. Perfect. Mm. Super. Здравствуйте. Салам алейкум. Можно посмотреть, да? Спасибо. А вы сколько лет занимались на это? Шесть месяцев на одну ковру, да? Вау. Рахмат. До свидания. of technique of putting this knot in what color to put what's after what Jesus. I would love to learn that incredible I don't think I will ever look at the carpet the same now <laughs> so much work Сибири, Англия, да? А вы сами откуда? С Хивы? С Навои. А с Навои, да? Ага. Ну, через Навой на поезде ездили. 
Вы здесь работаете или... Нет, я вот. тоже как вы... Как турист? Да, или... как турист приехали. Да. Ага. Надолго? Нет, просто не, недели. У нас брат работает. Mm -hmm. А, да? В каком городе? Тула, что ли. А, Тула, да? А. Там, говорят, очень холодный. Зима... зима. Постоянно зима. Да, да, да. Зима долгая, холодная. Приятного отдыха. Вам тоже. Приятно познакомиться. До свидания. All around here there's these stunning madrasas and in this one we were just reading that poets have studied here, interpreters, statesmen, it must have been incredible back in the day this was like a meeting place as with the other cities here in Uzbekistan now of just incredible minds, clever people, there was scientific, mathematical discoveries here and Bukhara and Samarkand, incredible, incredible. Are you not allowed in if you're dumb? Um, I don't know if they give you a test or anything. Isn't there an IQ test before you possibly, enter the city? Possibly the guy on the reception <laughs> gives, you, gives you a quick IQ. So, 98, sorry. Dumbass, go home. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> just insane like this is my favorite design in the whole world if i ever had a house i would decorate it like that 100 <laughs> So Kiva might be a little bit smaller and less famous than let's say Samarkand or Bukhara but if you'd have mentioned this place to anyone in the 19th century, you would have struck fear into their hearts. This place was famous for its slave trade, its barbaric cruelty, marauding Turkmen tribesmen. This was actually one of the last places in this part of the world that the Russian Empire conquered. It took them until 1873. They tried a couple of times before. One time I think I was reading in the 18th century, they sent 4,000 troops to take over what was then the, the Khanate of the Kiva region, and they slaughtered a lot of them, apart from a few, just to go back up to St. Petersburg at the time and to... Cry. To basically, yeah, to tell them what had happened, to, to say, don't come back. And it took them until 1873 when they brought a contingent of 13,000 troops down to take over Kiva and the, the Khanate of this region. <laughs> Завтра возвращаемся, да? В то же время завтра. Бухару завтра. А вы самарканцы? А вы самарканцы? На поезде или как? А на машина? Ой, далеко. Теперь мы на Бухару поедем. А вы сами откуда? Андижана, да? Мы проехали через Андижан. Очень красивый город у вас. Очень красивый. Тоже русский? 
Do svidanja, da bi zacila, da. Uvidim se tam. This massive building behind us is supposed to be that tall that you could see all the way towards Bukhara. I'm not sure why I'm pointing that way, it's probably the other direction. Anyway, the Khan at the time, that's was, that was his wish. He wanted it to be super tall. However, they started building it and four years later he died. Hence why it's not finished and that's why it looks like it's been chopped at the top. Надо же так, да, конечно. It's been a big climb, but it was worth it. It's a view and a half, isn't it? That's a view and a half. I thought you said no at first. No. You. Are we there yet? Don't you start. Seriously. What? I think I'm getting off.